So we have a little break. We've done our peaches, we've done our pears, and our apples are coming tonight or tomorrow. In between, I thought I would get some of these tomatoes for the freezer. We have bags and bags. I'm telling you, I think this freezer is mostly full of tomatoes. So we need to make some room. I also have a couple bowls of fresh tomatoes that I'm going to add into the thing. Let's get started. We're full to overflowing here. Once they start cooking, they'll sink down. And it puts more out to defrost. So while our tomatoes are slowly defrosting on the stove, we've got some nice ripe tomatoes here, fresh out of the greenhouse, and more to come. I have to go out and pick some more. So we're going to wash these up in the meantime and start with these ones. So as you can see, this is the two pots that we had that were up and overflowing. I'm going to reduce my cooking time. Ooh, that's hot. Just a second. I'm going to reduce my cook down time of my sauce. This is one reason I really love doing frozen tomatoes. Because as they defrost, there's a lot of water. So if you haven't squished them yet, you haven't moved them around too much, you can remove so much water and slow down oops, your cooking time. So there's still a bit there, but I don't want them to burn on the bottom. And so I can keep doing that. As I add my tomatoes, I can take a bunch of the water off. Look at that. I can see minutes, minutes coming back to me. Think how long that would take to boil down and evaporate. All right, now we're going to add some more frozen tomatoes to these pots. So I actually poured off way more of the water, almost all of it, and they're still already, look at that. Look how much water comes out of them as they melt. It's just amazing. I'm gonna pour the rest of these ones in here since we have room for them now. There we go. And I'm gonna put more frozen ones in here. So I'm gonna show you, we have actually poured out the water and you can see there's more water again. This is our two pots combined. We've poured off at least a pot of water, like at least a normal sized pot of water. And now I'm just going to show you how easy it is to remove the skins. You don't want to do it before you've poured off the water because um, then your, your flesh is going to get mixed in with it. You don't want to lose that yummy flesh. So this is our two pots. As you can see, quite a bit is reduced. There's still some water. But we're just going to blend them up. I think that might be a bit much, but here we go. thick that sauce was instant sauce none of this boil down it is instant so that's why I like freezing my tomatoes and doing them this way so before we put our tomato sauce in the jar we're gonna put in half a teaspoon of citric acid in each jar you could also use two tablespoons of lemon juice We're going to put in 
one teaspoon of salt. That is totally optional. The citric acid is not. The lemon juice and citric acid is necessary for the canning, but this is totally optional. And we're just going to pour our sauce into our jar. If you find you've gone too far and you want a little more liquid, you can always take some of the liquid from one of the other pots or you can reserve some. We've got a little more we got to blend up from that pot. So I'm going to go do that. Just making sure we have all the air bubbles out of the jars, at least as much as possible. It kind of seems like if I kind of stir around and then go up, it seems to help. Then we want to have a half inch headspace. All right, we're just going to use a damp paper towel. You could use your finger wet with water. Tea towel that's damp. We just want to wipe the rim clean. Put the lids on. We're going to set it aside till we're done the rest. So we've finished all our jars. They are placed in our hot water. We're now going to bring it to a boil. Um, 13 bags. Not all of them were completely full, but most of them were. Um, got us these 12 jars. And doing them that way with them being frozen i was able to pour off a lot of the liquid and get a thicker sauce much quicker so our time is done we took the canner lifted one side put a trivet underneath lifted the other side put a trivet underneath and that stopped it from boiling we left the lid on for five minutes and then we have Taken the lid off and added a little bit of cooler water. You don't want it to shock the jars or anything, so you don't want it to be too cold to begin with. Now we are ready to remove our jars. I just want to carefully lift them straight up, out, and put them on a covered surface. All our jars are out. We're going to let them seal, but we're going to check them in the morning. So the jars had sealed last night. I let them sit and cool overnight. We've removed the rings and now we're going to wipe them down with vinegar before we pack them away. Please excuse the bread machine. So we have wiped them all down and as you can see there was little bits of food on the outside that you don't necessarily see but in a root cellar or in storage that will mold on the outside of the jars and we've had it happen so this is our new practice before we put any of our canning jars away we wipe them down let them air dry and then we're going to label them and put them away in our box and that is it it's that easy to freeze your tomatoes all summer long and then turn them into sauce in just one day in a matter of hours hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget give us a thumbs up Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like these and have a blessed day.